What is going on, guys? It's me, Liquid Truth, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. I think we are at day 15 at this point. But I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for taking time out every day to watch my content. Cannot say thank you enough. Let's start the day. Decay gives way to new growth. From death, life. And they're saying, like, flip. So the cycle. The cycle starts again west of White Scar by the river. Where's White Scar? White Scar. By the river? This is the river. This is by the river? This is kind of by the river. Hmm. <gasps> the sun-bleached skull fixes me with its black-eyed gaze. A reminder from the chest of the skeleton, a plant grows. Sick. New plants, let's go. Also, I was thinking we have more mushrooms that I did not check. That's what this is what the one I was looking for. A viscous white liquid can be seen oozing from the underside. That's the one I was looking for. So is this this and then the yellow one with the bells that we don't have identified this this has to be it don't play with me that's the uh dendru's elixir yellow berries where is it yellow berries heart-shaped leaves Bell-like flowers and heart-shaped leaves. Heart-shaped leaf from a plant with bell flowers. Small yellow berries. Teaspoon of milky fungal residue. Viscous white liquid seen oozing from it. Oh, dude, don't play with me. Come on, Kojima. <gasps> it's a different color. Let's go. We made the poison for the boys. Let's go. Hell yeah. Damn, dude, we have so many plants. This is crazy. Yeah, we don't even have enough room for the unidentified plants anymore. This, that's something with an H that we don't have identified, or we do, hop heart. That's this, I know that's what that is. Don't play. I've earned my keep at this job. I've, my boss has killed me so many times, dude. I know what the fuck is going on. Let's... Oh, the mailman, David Schaefer. I've lived in Undermere all my life, and I've never seen the people as worried as they are now. David, what's going on? Everyone's talking about the sisterhood and the servant. Somebody needs to do something to stop that beast. I was speaking to a woman from Arnside who told me of a cave nearby that the locals stay away from. Apparently, there is a strange plant that grows there, but the cave is believed to be haunted. Unfortunately, she was vague about where the cave was. Somewhere to the east is all she would say when I pressed her.
to the east. Where is Arnside? Ambleside. Hentmere, Grassmere. Come on, Arnside. To the east. A thin crack runs down the rock face, widening as it nears the ground, just wide enough for a man to slip through. But there's a problem. A large boulder blocks the entrance, too heavy to move. Think Farmer's Worry is one of those plants that gives you, like, strength or something? Spongy mushroom with potent abilities only safe to consume in small quantities. Grant strength for, such, for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue when the effect is worn off. Spongy mushroom. Ooh, yes, it's one we identified but didn't actually identify. Or didn't actually identify. Yes. Free book entry. Twilight Le... Le... <laughs> Lepoida. <laughs> Lepiota. In the twilight where the shadows grow, take leaf and root, and eye of crow. Plant of gloom and despair and dark magic. Do not be fooled by the pretty flower. The smell it gives off is quite foul. I'm surprised at how easily I'm able to roll away the boulder with the help of the farmer's worry. As my eyes adjust to the darkness, I discover several clusters of fungi growing there, reaching out desperately to the thin strip of light provided by the crack. New mushrooms. That's a good start to the day. So we've got two of our things solved so far. Uh, all right. Simone Green. I haven't forgiven you for whatever it was that you gave me the other day. <laughs> we gave her like that truth plant. I should have destroyed that elixir recipe when I had the chance. Whatever happens, you must not allow it to fall into the wrong hands. I don't even remember what elixir it was. Get out of here. You tried to trick me, and for that I should fucking beat you up. St. Quentin's. Was it this one? We know what the five-pointed leaf is. What does Candlewood do? Lady, I'm about to make this potion in your face. Provides shielding effects for against against manners of afflictions of the mind. To protect the mind. Seed pod. We have something that's straight up like seeds. This. Oh. You think you're slick, lady? Fuck you. You want to come tell me what to do? Five-pointed leaf to grant courage. Oh, there's one that has little leaves sticking off that are just five points. Not, or yeah, five points. Uh, let's see. Oh! Lady, you fucking with the wrong one. I'm a master elixir maker. Yeah, all right, whatever. Get out of here. Dude. Don't play with me, lady. You don't want this. Alden Gregory. 
My wife of 30 years is dying. That is the truth of it, as painful as it is to say out loud. The doctors say there's nothing they can do, but I cannot sit by and wait for it to happen. What? A man at the hospice let slip about a plant-based elixir. I don't think he meant for me to hear it, but I did, and that's all I can think about. I understand the risks, but any price is worth paying if it means she doesn't have to die. Please, I'm begging you. Elixir of the Damned. Okay, that's not the Dendry's Elixir, because we need to hold on to that. We got you. Good luck for your wife, my dude. Sorry to hear that. Average. Cumulatus. Cum, wait. Cumat. Matillus Amor. Pretty blue flowers line the stems of this sought after plant. It's said that if you give average to your beloved under light of a full moon, you will both live long and blessed lives. Althea O'Shea. What a delightful shop you have. I'm only in town for a brief visit, but I heard I might be able to get a hold of some Liverstone here. I have never heard of that, but let me see. We got skills. Caution is advised when handling this plant due to the strong paralyzing agents contained within. The Liverstone is a mushroom with pointed caps. Dark and imposing, strange. My fingertips feel slightly numbed. Ooh, yo. This is what, day 15 on the job? I know what I'm doing. Trust me, lady. Watch us, we're gonna give her poison and she's gonna die. I got you. Let's go. Thum. Acusis. Pacillium. Pronounced tomb. This flower is sometimes associated with death. Tomb is used as a fragrance in soaps and candles. That over there? At the cat for good luck. <gasps> the Jade Masked Woman. I can't control it anymore. This has all gone too far. I, I never meant for it to turn on my sisters. It's too strong. I I'm trying to hold it back, but... What it wants to kill, or what it wants to kill, that's all it wants. Death. Death and more death. You have to help me. Ooh, it's getting juicy. So we have a decision to make. We can give her Widow's Woe. Is it to induce fear? Partly due to its unpleasant sin. So she wants to scare it away, I'm assuming. Uh, or strength and resolve. Hmm. And sharpen the mind. We should instill fear in her, because we're trying to kill the beast. This lady can't go around acting like this. Widow's Woe. Induce fear. Wait. Who's, who's you, who are you taking this for? Who is this? Is this for you? We can't just be giving you drugs. You come in my shop saying you're gonna give the drugs to somebody else. Like, hey, can I drug this monster? No, get out of here. Go do that at, like... Where do they do that kind of shit? In the fucking... Hood of Ghostforth is where they do that kind of bullshit. Not over here. This is Undermere. We run a fucking stand-up establishment. Making me sick. Jesus Christ. Bullshit I gotta deal with to do business in this fucking town, man. Uh... What do Dead Man's Fingers do? 
strengthen resolve and sharpen the mind. I don't want that for you or the monster. All right, we're going to fucking scare you out of here. It's like a grass. Widow's woe. The flowers are very delicate. The petals fall easily. Dainty dark flowers grow from a bed of long thin leaves. Matter of fact, skilled apothecary shop. Here, let me label that for you. Get out. Oh no! Lady, you made me label it for nothing. It's not even that. Get out. You're going to get me killed by my boss. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm scared. Dark purple flowers. Lady. What? My boss is going to fucking kill me for real. Literally, I'm going to die. You need to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Can you come back later or something? Like. Shit's going down in here. Was that not it? How was that not it? Don't. <laughs> I don't know, lady. I don't want to give you the dead man's fingers. Do I have widow's well? Ow. Just dropped my fucking vape on the floor. Uh... Lady, can you get out? I'm scared. Hmm. Not sure I have it. It's not that I have a feeling I don't have it for some reason. And I don't. Ah. Uh, what's gonna happen if we give her this? What does that do for the story? Carnivorous Torin. Lady, don't tell anybody I did that. Fuck. Gonna get me in trouble. Oh, there's something I should have solved that I haven't. Is it this? We go to the Great Oak. Oh, we've already been here before and it says the same thing. Fuck you, Jade Masked Woman. You're gonna get me fucking fired. Hollis Gibb, who are you? There's been talk over the last few nights down the Royal Oak of a servant creature going around slaughtering people. I just came back from the Royal Oak, you motherfucker. I used to enjoy walking in the hills, but I don't. I daren't leave my house now. I've decided to bring nature to me in the meantime. The glow of a few pixie lamps would surely warm my heart. Glow horn? If you're asking for something I don't have, I'm going to beat you up. Oh, this should be easy. This? Yes! I don't even have to read, I just remembered the glowing mushroom. Penny Bell. Let's go. Shut up.
Pet the cat for good luck. Faye Swift. I understand it now. My mind is linked to the servant. With the elixir, I'll be able to throw out the woman in the jade mask and take control for myself. No. Together, we can end this. Meet me at the Daughter's Stone Circle tomorrow and bring the elixir. Whoa, day's over? Hold on. Tomorrow's Saturday. The person in the Dendru letter told me to meet them Saturday as well. Is this it? We'll meet at the Swinside Stone Circle on Saturday. Praise the Dendru. Where the hell did Faye want to meet? Stone Circle or Swinside Stone Circle. What? Are they both meeting at the same place? Daughter Stone Circle or the Swinside? Okay, Swinside Stone Circle or the Daughters. Ooh. We have a decision to make. She wants to lead the cult. This guy wants to kill the beast. If it drinks from it, it is thought that it will be able to break free of the bonds of its servitude, though this has not been attempted in living memory. This seems like a terrible idea in retrospect. It's gonna break free? The monster is gonna break free of the shackles of the cult? Then what? Hmm. I have a feeling tomorrow is a big day. I'm scared. To the east of the castle across the river, and through the mountain pass. It grows at the edge of the wood. She finally had the power she had craved all these years, a servant to do as she willed. But that power came at a cost. The servant was awoken, and it would not be contained. It was the Dendru, the dread. It was death. So yeah, it seems like my assumptions are correct. It seems like we've awoken a monster. <laughs> And now we thought we were controlling it. And now it's just like, nope, bitch, you thought. You're going to get your ass whooped now. Nice try. Jesus Christ, this can't be good. And if that's the case, it seems like tomorrow might be the final day. But holy shit. Yeah, we've slowly, like, grown up. Left our upbringing of our original house, which seemed kind of bleak and dark. And then sought refuge in this cult. And then been consumed by it, is what it seems like. But I'm not sure if we want to help the woman, because she just wants to lead the cult. And then the guy wants to free the beast from the cult? I'm not sure what's a better option. Those both sound like terrible ideas. Do we just leave the town and have nothing to do with this? I don't like this. But we are going to call it an episode here. So I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for taking time out of your day to watch my content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help boost engagement and help me know what you guys are looking forward to. And next episode, we're getting to the bottom of this. Take care.